I'm Adam, and that's Diesel. He's from the desert, I think, or at least that's where he was found wandering around by himself. So I adopted him, and now he's a beach dog. It was always my dream to move from England to live in sunny Southern California, and now here I am. My goal is to inspire people just like you to chase your dreams, and most importantly, get out there and find your everyday adventure. Welcome back to another episode. As you have already seen from the title of this video, we have been sick. I have made almost a full recovery, but um, <laughs> Sniffly Sally here, still got the sniffles. Uh, yeah, we think we got the Rona, even though we went and got tested and it said negative. We got all the symptoms. There's been like smell, taste, and stuff lost and all kinds of stuff going on. Anyway, we're all good. It took about a week to get over it. Uh, it wasn't really that bad. It just made us feel kind of run down and we didn't want to do anything. So that has impacted my ability to make videos. And so this video is just going to be a fun little day. I've got some errands to run, which I didn't get to do this last week. So you're going to come with me and we're going to do that. Um, so we're just here having a little breakfast burrito and uh, looking out over the ocean and the marina right there. So uh, yeah, let's finish these and then I'll tell you what we've got to do today. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that nice. Before we go any further, one of the things I want to share with you today is the fact that myself and Panzera Watches have joined forces and come up with a signature Swords Neon Yellow Strap. I've been asking them for so long to do me a neon yellow, a true neon yellow, not just a bright yellow. This thing is like glow in the dark bright. So I am just absolutely made up with the fact that we finally got this done and you guys can buy it. I'll put a link in the description. It will fit any watch with a 24 millimeter lug width. So it doesn't have to be a Panzera watch. You put it on, as long as the gap between the lugs on the strap, on the head of the watch is 24 millimeters, you can use this strap. And even better, for every sale, we are gonna donate $1 to the Huntington Beach Wildlife and Mammal Rescue Center, the one that I did the fundraiser for recently after we had the oil spill. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That is just amazing. So not only will you be buying a sicko watch with my slogan on it, and my logo, but you'll also be supporting a charity that I really care about. So if you're interested, I will leave a description below. But yeah, super stoked on this. And uh, I actually have some news about me and Panzara doing perhaps a little giveaway, but not just yet, but I do have a giveaway to announce. So if you wanna hear about what you can win from me, then stay tuned for another four or five minutes or so. So there's actually been a lot gone on since the last time I was able to make a video and I haven't been able to share quite a bit with you guys here on YouTube. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this, but if you don't, I just bought myself a new adventure bike. So we're heading over now to Gustin Motorsport, which is where the bike is being worked on because I just bought a brand new set of crash bars, which basically protect all of the fairings in the frame and allow you to mount these really cool spotlights. They're in the back there behind my uh, strut brace. And then once we've done that, I've got some more information that I haven't shared with you guys about this car. So yeah, I've been sick for a week, but God, a lot has happened. So yeah, welcome to Gustin Motorsport. Uh, this is uh, Graham, the owner, and then this is my new bike. So they've basically been working on this thing. Uh, we had to do quite a few things. Uh, we had to rebuild the front end, fork seals needed doing, head bearing. We did a full service, we did all the fluids, we did coolant. Uh, basically, I just wanted to make sure that it was like perfect before I took it anywhere, because I don't want it letting me down. And it is an older bike, so I just like to do that with everything that I have. Go through them, just make sure that they're all perfect. But yeah, they have tons of cool stuff here. Like, look at this bad boy. If you had one of these as a kid and you're still alive now, then you're essentially invincible, because these are lethal. Got a little baby quad as well, just like tons, tons. I mean, they have stuff everywhere. These I absolutely love. If you've never seen the movie Hot Rod, you need to watch the movie Hot Rod and then you will want one of these as much as I do. Alrighty, so these are my new frame guards. So these things came all the way, I think from Poland. There was nobody out here in the US selling these things. So uh, these are gonna basically go 
around the side of the bike and they're going to kind of keep all the frame safe. So yeah, there you go. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. They sound, the welds all look really nice. Like yeah. everything seems pretty good. These come up, I don't know which yeah, end it yeah, is, yeah, but you know, they come up all the, the way up the top. top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly, not just the lower support, like crash guard kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. This will be a full fairing guard. So Graham just said uh, that they're hopefully gonna get it right for me by the end of today or tomorrow. Um, they had to go through the carbs, so the carbs, there was this weird sort of like um, surging that was happening. So I just told them do everything. Uh, we might be putting a new clutch in it as well because there's like an issue with the, the clutch sort of like grabbing a bit. Um, so they're just doing absolutely everything. And if you guys are in the kind of Orange County area and you need someone to work on your bikes, these guys, this is no sponsorship or anything. I've paid full price for everything, um, but they have just been brilliant. And I needed a motorcycle mechanic in the area now that I have my own bike. And so, yeah, they've been awesome. And uh, yeah, Graham is the owner here. He's treated me so well and always been great and timely. So yeah, can't speak highly enough of them. One of the other things I've done this week is remap the Golf. So now it takes race fuel. Yeah, race fuel, like actual race fuel. And I pay $9.99 per gallon for the privilege. Uh, this is kind of like a stopgap between where we are at now with the current, with the current tune, I can't speak, with the current tune, and stage three, which will be a full ethanol tune. So we will run this thing on E85, not on regular unleaded petrol. Um, so this is kind of like that stopgap, and it has to be because at $10 a gallon, it is costing way too much to fill this thing up because I want to drive it all the time. It has changed the performance of the car dramatically. The thing is now so aggressive, it breaks traction all four tires when you do a hard launch. Like, this feels like the car is now starting to get to be a real handful. Whereas before, it felt like I could use 100% of the power 100% of the time. Now it's more like 100% of the power 80% of the time because it's getting fast, fast, fast. Ask the guy in the brand new Porsche 911 Carrera S, Carrera 4S. Ask him how fast it is. Yeah, he'll tell you. It's super easy to do. You just fire up the laptop, plug in the data cable that 034 provide, go into their software, select your car, identify your vehicle, uh, and then choose which map you want. And five minutes later, the thing is flashed and it's running on race fuel. 034, thank you so much. You guys continue to amaze me with the things that you can do to these cars. And uh, I just can't wait for that stage three, which will be coming in uh, hopefully early 2022. Oh my word, this thing launches so hard. So these tires are warm, this ground is dry, and it still managed to spin all four of them and do a 3.14 0 to 60. Look at this butt. Look at this butt. Yeah, oh yeah. Hi buddy, hi. Okay, so I also have something else to announce. I have teamed up with this company. This is LED Lenser. So these guys make the best flashlights that you can get. Uh, oh, also, when is too many plants too many? Because I don't think I've found that limit yet, but Given the fact that I'm surrounded by three huge plants right now, uh, I think I'm getting close, but I just think that any room looks better when you've got loads of plants in it. So I saw these recently, and now I have them. Anyway, so I'm doing a giveaway with LED Lenser. So if you don't know, LED Lenser are my flashlight sponsor. So I've been rocking their kit on all of my adventures for a long time now. Uh, this is the brightest flashlight known to man, needs charging, um, but this one is a brand new one they've just sent me. Now, this thing has my logo engraved on it. How sick is that? So they've actually etched my two X's into it. I also have these two as well, which are the P7R Work Series. So these are kind of great everyday flashlights. They're super lightweight. They've got this rubber uh, sort of helmet around the, uh, the flashlight, so you pretty much can't damage them. Uh, it's got this nice little foot, so they stand up. Um, but yeah, these things are super bright. As you can see, they make you squint this much. I can't even look at it. That's how bright it is. I can't even look at it. And I don't, is that full brightness? They have like varying brightnesses. Okay, yeah, that was full ponies. So anyway, they're awesome and uh, I'm doing a giveaway. So for your chance to enter this giveaway, uh, oh, what's the giveaway for? That's right, that might help, Swordsy. The giveaway is for 
Uh, one is a $500 gift card, the other is a $250 gift card, and the other one is also a $250 gift card. So I'm giving away a total of $1,000 worth of LED Lenser gear, so you can go and order whatever you want from their website. Um, I'm gonna run this through my Instagram, so if you don't have Instagram, I'll put information below on how to sign up. You can sign up, create yourself a profile, whatever. Uh, if you're not on Instagram, you should be anyway because you should be following me on there because I post a ton of stuff that doesn't get into these YouTube episodes because it's just my kind of day-to-day -day stuff. So anyway, all of the information will be linked in the description and I will put up a nice little link on the screen right here that you can go check out and that will have all of the info on how to enter. First prize, $500. Second prize, $250. Third prize, $250. So you can go and get whatever you want. I know a lot of you guys are into watches, so you might be interested uh, in this one. Check this out. This is uh, Davis Elvin. It's got this crushed carbon case on it, which is actually very nice. Um, and then it's got a Velcro strap. It's got the crushed carbon loop here on the back as well. But yeah, if you're looking for a cool like RM homage watch, then this is definitely the one. Um, here, let me see if I can... Oh, there you go. Oh, shoo, nearly dropped it. Nearly swore as well. They're very cool. Uh, they're on these like nice bands. And uh, you may have seen these over on the Producer Michael channel. So yeah, I thought you guys might just appreciate seeing this little guy. I'm not sure how much I like it, if I'm being totally honest. It's cool, I do like the crushed carbon. I'm not really a big fan of this shape of watch. So I think that's why it's not like 100% my style. But I do like the crushed carbon, I like the gray. I like kind of the, the color scheme going on here and the materials used, but just the design itself kind of isn't for me. But let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Do you like these? Would you rock one of these? Much cheaper than an RM as well. Uh, I think the retail on these is about $4,000, they say. Let me know what you think in the comments. These are dog. Hello, buddy. Hello. Would you like to go to the dog park? Hmm? Oops. Got it. Don't drink these beers, all right? Or eat this hot sauce. But I definitely forgot what was in here. All right then, guys. Well, look, that's going to wrap up this episode. This is going to be the last one for me filming of the new year. It is New Year's Eve. And so him and I are going to go to the dog park now, let him have a run around, and then I'm going to go out and have a nice New Year's Eve. And guys, I hope you have an amazing 2022. I hope you've set some New Year's resolutions. I have a few that I've put in place and I'm gonna be working very, very hard to achieve in the new year. So I do recommend you guys do the same. It's a great kind of fresh start. I have like a very, um, well, like a mildly OCD, but a very visual brain. And like this clean cut of a new year really helps me get into new routines and kind of get new things going. So I am gonna be using that, especially to try and make 2022 the best one yet. So guys, thank you so much for all of your support this year. This year has been great for the channel. We've done so many amazing things and I couldn't do it without you guys watching. So really from the bottom of my heart and from his heart, thank you so much. We love each and every one of you and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys in the new year. So remember, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps. If you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe because I want to see you here again. And remember guys, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.